Hi, I'm Esman and uh, welcome to this video series on working with distance. So what I'll be doing in the following videos is that I'll be covering the different concepts of diff distance that we have when working with GIS. Um, there's one major difference or concept that I will not be covering that there is in Arc GIS many of the distances can be measured as planar so out on a flat earth or as geocentric so um, measured on um, on the round earth we'll be working with short distances within um, Copenhagen so we will only be working with planar distances but many of these tools can also switch to doing a, um, a geocentric uh, distance but we will not do that here we will only be working with the planar distance concept so we will ignore for all of these tools we will ignore the fact that the earth is round and only look at the flat earth the different tools that we will be looking at the different distance concepts is that we will be looking at a simple distance which is um, basically just what we would normally call distance if you measure the distance from here to there and the tools that are used for this then we will be looking at partitioning so we will be partitioning or dividing space into areas that is closest to a given observation this is also sometimes called allocation so we allocate the space to the object um, that it's closest to. For instance, if we have stations, we can then allocate or partition Copenhagen into areas that are closest to whatever station. Then we will talk about accessibility. Accessibility is basically how many bookshops are when 1500 meters or how many stations or how many addresses are within 1500 meters of the station so we'll be talking about these different concepts of accessibility and for to that we will be using the buffer tool then we'll be talking about density so how many bookshops or stations or whatever are there within one kilometer or 1500 meters Density has a cousin that's called um, concentration. So where is the concentration of addresses or stations the highest? Um, the tool for it is called kernel density and the tool for the normal density is called point density. So the tools are called more or less the same, but there are very important differences in how they work. So we'll be talking about them as two different concepts as density and as concentration and finally I'll be talking about how we can operate with cost or time as a distance concept and take into fact that when moving from one place to another we can't just move as the crow flies we'll have to follow existing road networks and we can't cross lakes and all those other things so how can we create a, um, a efficient way of calculating distance with, with these constraints and we'll so we'll be talking about finding the cheapest way and we might also be talking about finding some alternatives so that is the different videos that will be part of this series as usual each of the tools will be a video in itself in a playlist so have fun